Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. Create a lot of content for NMSPs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload hardware IDs into the Windows Autopilot service. So I have a full video, a link below, which is a full demo of Windows Autopilot and all its features. This video, though, is solely going to focus on the actual garnering of the hardware ID and uploading it into the Windows Autopilot service. So here you see I'm in the device management portal, what now Microsoft calls the endpoint manager portal after Ignite. Um, and in here I am under the devices section, which is over here on the left hand side. The main thing that we're going to want to do here is go under the Windows section, click on Windows Enrollment. And here you'll see where we have devices. So this is actually where we're going to upload our CSV after we get it from my PC that I'm going to show you guys here in a second. With that hardware ID, we need to enroll it into the autopilot service. So there's a couple different methods here that you can use to import. Uh, the first one which we're doing today is the hardware ID uh, manual grab. Secondly of which would be enrolling the device into Intune and using a deployment profile within here to auto convert it to the autopilot service. And then the third of which would be working with an OEM provider that supports Windows Autopilot, and they can actually upload the device hardware IDs for you whenever you order new devices themselves. So big thing for MSPs, um, while you guys are transitioning to the cloud, I would suggest that if you have the proper licensing to incorporate this process as part of your change management process. So when somebody's leaving the organization and you're having to reissue a computer, Go in, grab the hardware ID, upload it into Intune so that you can hybrid manage it uh, for the time being while you transition um, into fully cloud managed devices. So what we'll do here is we'll pop into the test PC here and all I'm going to do is run PowerShell as administrator. So I'll search for that here. And the actual script that we need to run, um, you can find it and I'll link it below, but you can just simply type in adding Windows 10 Autopilot hardware ID. And the first one that'll come up here is gonna list the methods available to upload these hardware IDs. And the script you'll need is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that, copy it, come back to my test PC, paste that in. And you'll see that it's going to ask you a couple of questions about the execution policy. You can say yes to that. And, and it's going to ask you about the script. You can say yes to that as well, too. And we'll let that run here. Basically, what it's doing behind the scenes, if you can see in the script, it's uh, using the, the GitHub script for the autopilot service. And it's going ahead and putting that into a folder on our C drive with the CSV output of the hardware ID of this particular device itself. So you can say yes to all these things that you're prompted with here. And we'll get a new command line once this has been completed. Let's say yes one more time. All right, so we got our new command line. We can go ahead and open up a file explorer and we'll go ahead and go to the C drive. And now we have this WHID folder. We can click on that and we have our CSV file here. So I'll go ahead and copy that and I'm going to actually uh, paste it into a local directory here and we'll upload it. So let me pause briefly while I do that and be right back. Okay, so we're back here and again we went to the devices, Windows, Windows enrollment, and devices section here. Now what we're going to need to do is go back, sorry, one more time, Windows Enrollment, Devices, and we're going to go ahead and import the CSV. I'm going to grab that, and I'll grab it from where I just stored it. It's right on my desktop here. And it'll tell you if it's formatted wrong in case you did this manually or something like that, but I would always just use the script. If you're familiar with Azure, it's going to look a lot similar with a status bar here. It'll give you a green light whenever it's done. It does say it can take up to 15 minutes, but if it's only one device, usually in my experience, it's been like two to three minutes. Um, but regardless, again, I'm going to pause right here and I'll be back whenever that's done. All right, guys, so we're back here. It took about two to three minutes, like I was mentioning there. You get the success message 
from your notifications here and you also see that the device has been imported here so a couple different actions you can take on the device itself one of which is that you can assign it to a particular user and again you want this to be somebody who has the proper licensing of Intune uh, in order to be able to enroll it into the service itself I'm gonna go ahead and select Megan here and click that and it'll give me the new screen here uh, which defines her user-friendly name which again this is what she's going to see if she boots up the device um, if we were to do a, an autopilot reset or something like that um, on the device itself so I just wanted to say hey Megan instead of her full name um, if you're using just a cloud deployment you can give it a device name if you want to if you're using a hybrid join um, then you do not need to worry about this because the the domain join profile that you create with that um, is going to give it a device name itself the group tag is really you can think of this like dynamic group entry where you have a particular ID associated to a tag that would automatically enroll it into a certain group and again this is just leveraging Microsoft's full stack uh, to improve automation so um, this is something where you could tag it with certain ID dynamic rule says hey if it has an ID of X flow into this group and then that group is where you assign policies or apps or anything like that so all of this becomes very much streamlined as you begin to build it so I'm going to go ahead and save this here and this will give that name itself for Megan and I've already set up a profile here this is a little bit beyond the scope of this video um, but basically this is a user-driven um, deployment profile that I set up it's Azure AD joined um, but it does have the setting here which is very important which is saying hey convert all targeted devices to autopilot and it's assigned to this certain group I could have set all devices um, and so what I'm going to need to do in this case is assign this particular device that I just added to the uh, devices group that I created and then it will flow into this deployment profile so it'll follow the UBI experience I've defined here and that's how you can go ahead and start to join existing devices into the service itself and then when you do a new reset of the device um, it'll be enrolled for future use so that's everything I want to show you guys in this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. Thanks.